Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I know y'all are laughing at that title, Level Up with a Dollar Tree. Yes. Well, as you probably all know, the Dollar Tree costs more than a dollar now. So you're going to get more quality items. So how many of y'all have visited the Dollar Tree lately? Click the like button, let me know. Um, but I was in there today and I saw this really cute solar lantern that I just had to have. Now, this was only $5. So it was more than a dollar, but this is worth well over $5. Is a solar lantern. I'm going to put this in my backyard. And it's really pretty for springtime. They had them in another color as well. I think it was blue. I'm not sure. Or black. Could have been. Um, and then they had some mini ones as well. In the garden section. So. Yes, you can level up your backyard or your front porch. At the Dollar Tree. So this is only $5. And so something normal like this. Normally like this. And they cost you $10, $20 depending on where you're shopping at. So good find right there. Another way you can level up your home with the Dollar Tree are these canvas hanging wall pictures. And so I got one of the beautiful sky and the sea. And these are only like a dollar twenty-five. And I'm making a like montage of paintings and framed prints and things like that in my dining room and in my parlor. So these were a good find. So um, since I have a lot of plants and things now in my garden, I'm probably going to hang this somewhere um, around a lot of my floral and plant pictures and things like that. So these are only $1.25. And they have the little metal hook on the back, so you can use a thumbtack or a nail. And these are really pretty. These will go really good in your bedroom or your bathroom. Or these are going to go really good in my parlor. These have like gold, like gold leaf on it, something like that. But yeah, so you can just make over your space really cheap at the Dollar Tree. You can level up whatever room you're decorating at the time. Um, and then I got this little plastic drink dispenser. You can make like some drinks or put some water in there while you're working in your garden outside or just to stay hydrated. And when you're outside or on your front porch or just for your kids, if you've got kids. And this is definitely, they had these in red, white, and blue. I got the white one because I am going to decorate this and make it look more bougie. If you are a part of the Patreon, we're probably going to be doing a little bit more crafting in there since I have some cool stuff. And you can probably find it at the Dollar Tree as well. So I found some really cool stickers and appliques that I can actually put on this. And I'm also going to probably paint this, at least the top. and Or I might leave it this way and just add some something else on top of it. We are going to see. So a dollar. Um, dollar Tree is also a really good place to get your candles and things like that for your home ambiance because they have so many, they're so cheap, they look cute, they look classy, I mean, you can't go wrong with cream and white candles. Some of these are vanilla scented, some of these are unscented. So placing candles around your home or your bedroom or even outside on your patio just gives it that leveled up ambiance that you know makes your house feel extra on time. So get your candles at the Dollar Tree. I got a bunch because I have some like, candelabras and things like that that need tapered candles and then I like to just put these around and light them in the evening for like that romantic ambiance that I just like to sit in and bask in and pretend I'm bougie. Bougie actually needs candles so I don't know. You know fake it till you make it I feel bougie. Even though I shop for candles at the Dollar Tree I mean, it's a candle. It's going to burn, you know. Um, I have some 
um, essential oils that you can also sprinkle on your candle or you can look, poke little holes in your candles with toothpicks or pencils and pour some of the essential oil in there to give your unscented candle a scent. Okay. And definitely make sure it's a scent that you like because, you know, you don't want to experiment. So smell it first. Make sure you want your house smell like that. Because I've done that before. I have put a bunch of some essential oil in there and it started, it smelled, it was pine, but it smelled more like pee. So <laughs> make sure you smell it first. <laughs> okay. I also bought these little green, like, jars you can put candles in these are just like tea lights or um you could put votive candles in them which i did get as well a set of four is like vanilla scented so these already smell good and i have a little uh, area where i have all this green glass but every time i go to put a candle on it or light a candle it doesn't match like the candle that I buy, it's like in a, just a different container. So I bought these to put votives or tea lights in to make that table look really pretty at night. And these were each a jar. And they have a little gold trim at the bottom. And they're just really pretty. I mean, you can also put these on your, your dinner table and just add some ambiance or whatever. You got the green and cold, gold hemp candle holders too? Okay. You got good taste for her. They had some blue ones too that were really pretty. I almost got the blue ones. But I was like, yeah, I like the green. Mm-hmm. Do I prefer lime or lemons? Both, baby. I like both. If you ever ask me about what I prefer, it's gonna always probably most likely be both. Because <laughs> why not? Why, why can't you have it all? So yes, I'm holding up some black pepper, y'all. So the other day, let me tell y'all a little story. So the other day, Layla and I went to the grocery store and we were trying to buy pepper. And pepper is expensive now. Like this probably would cost you about five or six dollars or more at the grocery store. I don't know why pepper is so expensive, but it's expensive. So I did not buy that pepper at the grocery store. I put it back and I went to the Dollar Tree and I got me a big old stack pile of little black pepper for one dollar and they sell the big one which is the one I usually get like the economy size and that was like $13 I'm like I can make I can get like three of these and make that but you know so anyway get you some black pepper from the Dollar Tree save some money off her um sure do you, okay Let's see. Let's see what else we have. I don't do consultations anymore. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, every once in a while, I might open it back up on the Patreon to do a phone call every now and then. But I no longer do that anymore. If you can't get anything out of my video, you're not listening. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Um, when I, you say when you was poor, you used to go to the Dollar Tree first if you needed something. I still go to the Dollar Tree. If I became a millionaire, when I become a millionaire, if I became a billionaire, I'm still going to shop at the Dollar Tree. I might buy stock at the Dollar Tree. We don't know what I'm going to represent. All right. So you can also get these beautiful solar lights that you can put in your front yard or backyard to light up your pathway at night. And these just make your yard look so much better. You can put them around a tree. You can put them on your patio inside of a pot, potted plant or something just to add some extra light. And they had different types. This is a more of a lantern looking one. And I got a bunch of these because I'm planning on doing something and adding. These are going to go in my garden, like lanterns in my garden. I have two raised bed gardens. I bought two of these to go in the middle of it so I can have some light at night. Just to light up my backyard. These are going to go in my front yard um, along the sidewalk that leads to my door. I have a lighted pathway. I have a few, but the lawn people, you know, they messed up a couple of them. And then I have these. They point to your home or your garden and they like shine light on it. And these are really good because a lot of like houses um, don't have that curb appeal in the evening time or at night. And you can't really see, you know, so it, these will just shine the light on your home or on your garden or wherever you're, you know, in the front yard. Um, a lot of people put them 
you know, in their garden beds and things like that around their home to kind of have a lighted ambiance. So these are only $1.25, I believe, these that, and they're adjustable and they just stick right into the ground. And so, and they're solar powered, so you never have to worry about them. And they're plastic, so they're not going to break. So these are a really good find. I'm so glad that I got a bunch of them. I have like a bag of them down here, but I'm just showing you the examples that I got. Um, mm -hmm. Tyra Banks used to talk about how she loved the dollar store, even being a wealthy one. I know, because you could find so many good deals, right? All right, so I also got these really nice, like, ribbon that also have, like, burlap and lace. These are really pretty. I probably use these in my mystery boxes to like tie up and make stuff pretty, but you know, that's what I use. Um, I had some just regular ribbon that last time. If, how many of y'all have gotten y'all's mystery, I'm sorry, mystery, bo mystery boxes yet? How many of y'all have bought a mystery box and received yours yet? So let me know how you like them. Were they a surprise? Did you have um, a good time opening it? How did it make you feel? Okay, another thing I found were these really pretty looking, pearly looking facial serum um, capsules. And my idea for these were to take all these out of the packages and put them in a beautiful jar, like an apothecary jar or something that I designed. I don't know what I'm going to create. Um, and be able to just take one out every day and use it to moisturize. And they sell them in these packs. I don't know how many come in a pack. Ten in each pack. So I bought a bunch of these. So I'm just going to take them all out and pile them in a jar to make it look all extra and fancy. And I'm probably going to display it on my vanity. Right? Cute, right? So they're... You open them up and they have it's a concentrated face serum. Uh oh, Leanne, sprinkle, sprinkle. So I'm finding like I like to find the good stuff. So since Dollar Tree is upgraded, you know you're gonna spend a lot more, but the, the items are very good quality now. Okay, these are kind of sealed. But anyway, you just pop these open and put the serum on your face. I want to open it. I'm going to go in a really pretty jar. Oh, um, okay, next thing I found, this really pretty flower or rose looking bath sponge, loofah, loofah, whatever. And they had them in different colors. So I got a few of these. I might put some of these in some of the boxes for whenever if I do some more. But I got a few of these and they were really pretty. Um, I got these little cute flower pot huggers. You just hang them on the side of little flower pots outside. If you, uh, they had different ones. They had an owl, they had a ladybug, they had a little squirrel, and then they had a little turtle. So I got these, and I'm going to hang these in little pots outside in the garden. Just to make it look extra cute, you know, colorful. It is springtime. Mm -hmm. So I have redone my tablescape in a different color pattern. And so the one in my kitchen that overlooks my garden is now black, white, green, and this really pretty royal blue. You know how they have like the blue and white willow china. I have a couple of teapots that look like that that I put on the table with the green like cabbage dishes or the green lettuce looking dishes. And then I got these really pretty blue and white salad plates to go on top of like really pretty white dinner plates. And I got these little blue napkins to go with it. Because I've been tablescaping a lot because it just makes me feel really nice and leveled up to eat at a really beautifully decorated table. Even if it's just for breakfast or a meal with the kids, it's still nice to have something to look at as well. And when you clear your table off and you sit your dishes back. It just looks really pretty and nice and looks, makes your table look really leveled up. So definitely I keep that table set as well as, well as the one in the dining room. 
So if y'all are joining or if y'all have joined my Patreon, I made this little cotton jar on the Patreon out of like a salsa, a salsa um, container. And so I keep my cotton balls in here. But I have some really cute ideas that I'm going to be introducing as well. So y'all stay tuned for that. I also got some violet material. I'm going to be using this for something as well. That's going to be a surprise. And I got these little organza bags. You can find these in like the baby shower section. Because I, I have to, sometimes I put stuff in there when I do my packages. And I got some little clear plastic bags that I put things in. From the business. Okay, of course, y'all know it's getting high, so we need our deodorant. I've got that suave tropical paradise. Anti-staining and rigid solid. 48 hours of protection, so I will not be musty while I'm out there gardening and doing all that stuff outdoors. This smells really good. It smells like a tropical coconut pineapple. Really good. So I like buying deodorant um, that smells good. So. So, I also got a bunch of um, cleansing towels and facial wipes and things like that. I just keep getting a bunch of these. Every time I go, I buy like four or five packs of different ones because I like to test them all out. And so I got about four of these. I don't know what the other ones are. But I got about four of these. And definitely use them to remove my makeup or clean off some of my makeup brushes while I'm doing makeup. Sasha uses them a lot. Layla likes them, so I just keep getting a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> and, like, also get makeup on your hands while you're doing your makeup. You can just wash it off. When you make a mistake, you can easily fix it. But I always have those on hand. Got me some gel super glue. This super glue is really good because it doesn't dry up, and it comes out like a gel, so it's not all watery. And so if you are looking for some good old super glue that doesn't leak everywhere and it makes your hands stick together, this one is the one you need to get because it's less messy. It doesn't plug up unless you leave it for a long, 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 long time. And see, it says no clog and self-piercing cap. So this super glue will last you and it's gel-like almost. So it's not um, super watery. Um, so I've been using that to fix a lot of stuff or to craft and things like that. Okay. I want to show y'all some cute stuff that I also found. Yeah, yeah. So what I was planning on doing with some of these jars and bottles that I've been saving, they have these really cute, like 3D flower stickers. And like these really pretty jeweled lock and key stickers and a sticker area and these really pretty gilded roses and like the rose gold and metallic look. It's almost like metallic. Um, they have these really pretty love stickers and like little designs that you can put in the corners of things. Uh, so I bought a bunch of these because I'm going to be including them in a project that I'm doing that y'all are going to probably be a part of maybe if you choose to. So uh, I thought these really pretty cute appliques or stickers. So for I, I, I saved the old liquor bottle I'm sorry, and I want it to like decorate it and you can put anything in here um, bubble bath um any type of like drink you want to put in your refrigerator or you can just put whatever you want in it. And you can decorate this with like one of these pretty rose stickers. Paint this top like a pink color or a gold color. I sell like all that acrylic paint and stuff at the Dollar Tree too. Speaking of that, I bought some white acrylic paint because I have a bunch of acrylic paint that I just, I needed white to mix to make them like lighter colors. So it's somewhere, but some acrylic white paint and they have all different colors paint brushes everything you need um or you could do like a really cute jeweled bottle um this one would be really cute 
Let's do a love, love potion. You put the little appliques in the corner. Or self-love, you know, bubble bath or whatever. Whatever. But I'm going to use it. I'm going to decorate this really pretty. I could even paint this whole thing or it's a whole different color and make it look like shabby chic. I'm going to leave it clear. because Sometimes, you know, the decoration could be inside. You could add like rose petals and flowers and a little bit of, you know, glitter or something like that. It would be really pretty. So, um, Epsom salt. Yes. You can use this for the bathroom, whatever. Um, whatever you want to use it for, that's what you can use it for. I mean, it's up to you, right? So, put that back over there. Or you can just use it for decoration. Okay, I also got these citronella incense sticks because, like, when you're outside and you don't like bugs bugging you, you can just light these, maybe stick them in the ground or in a, in a little bucket or something like that. If you have a little fire pit, you just put them in there and burn the citronella incense so that the bugs, the bugs don't like smoke either. So that's a double bonus and keep them away. Because sometimes if it's windy, the citronella candles will blow out or whatever. So I like to have that back up. Um, yeah. What else did I get? Oh. Now, if y'all if y'all go to the like the, the food area, they have these really good shortbread cookies. They're like individually wrapped, and I bought these for like you know for to have with tea. My kids ended up liking them, so they take them in their lunch. So these are really good find if you're looking for some cute little shortbread cookies, um, individually packed. Um, so. A lot, of other, a lot of other stuff I, I wouldn't buy, but some of the cookies and stuff are kind of cute and they're also kind of good. I also got this hard candy to put in my candy jar, like an old lady. Because the kids like to have candy when they're, you know, bored or whatever, and they just grab one of these hard candies. Kind of also, you know, takes away the sweet craving, so, you know, a lot. I got that. It's cute. All the different colors um so i think that's pretty much it i also bought some more containers to keep and store some of my garden tools in just in case little these little things you can also use these for shoe boxes which i did use at one point before I, um yeah if you have some nice shoes that you don't have the box to anymore or you want to store them away these are really good for shoe boxes Dollar Tree has a lot of those. And what else? Oh, they have these, they have a really good gardening section. And by the way, if you are trying to start a garden for less, Dollar Tree has a wonderful gardening section. They even have these little things you can put in your garden to help the plants grow on or the vines grow onto. They're called trails. I got three of them. Um, some of my roses need these, so I'm going to put this one in a, um, one of my roses so they can kind of grow up and also have some tomatoes and things like that that are going to benefit from those. Also, I'm going to be planting a pumpkin and squash garden, and they have a lot of vines, so it would be easier to kind of wrap the vines around some of these so that it won't be so much on the ground, so. That's going to be something that I'm probably going to be doing the rest of this month. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, yeah, you can level up your home, you know, your kitchen pantry, your crafting, your old liquor bottles, your old salsa jars, you know, buy stuff from the Dollar Tree. These stickers came from the Dollar Tree, and I just used some Mod Podge to kind of permanently get them on um and you can just have a good time creating and making your home look nice with little of nothing or a little at a time because i know a lot of people um they will spend a lot of money on home decor and not really get a lot and they won't even really like what they bought 
And so I, I like to find ways to incorporate um, leveling up your house, leveling up your look or whatever with stuff that everybody can afford because everybody's at a different point in their level up or in their life or in their finances. And it's not very helpful, I would say, to be exclusive for people that can't afford to level up at the stage that they're at. So that's why I always will keep it real with y'all, do Dollar Tree hauls, thrift hauls, and all those kind of stuff, because everyone's at a different level. And if you can't help everyone from whatever level that they're at, then you're no help at all. <laughs> and like I said, I will probably shop here forever, no matter how much money I get. I will always love the Dollar Tree because they have good deals. And why spend more when I don't have to? Mm-hmm. You got a small picnic basket? That's nice. Yes, this is the season for picnics. Even if it's in your own backyard, you can get you one of the little cute vinyl tablecloths and use it as like a picnic blanket. Get you a little picnic basket. Uh, there's a lot of them at thrift stores now. If you like shopping thrift, there's always baskets. You could just make a picnic basket just out of a regular basket like this, but bigger. And just get you some cute material to have that check or gingham material at the Dollar Tree and just like spread it out and tuck it in over your basket to keep all the you know stuff in. You can get creative and look like Little Red Riding Hood or whatever. But um, you don't have to have a picnic basket like that closes with latches. You can just cover it up with some fabric or some cute towels and have just a regular hand basket with some food in it. And also, like, if you want to take your kids or just you or your friend or whatever, just something to do to get out of the house or even just to get in the backyard and get your kids to want to go outdoors, or whatever, or spend time with your pets outside, I don't know. You can make some little sandwiches, wrap it up in some little um, craft paper, you know, they sell this at the Dollar Tree too, near the postage section, and tie it up with some little twine string, make it all look extra like you just went, went in, tie a little sandwich up in a, some um, craft paper and tie it up like that. Get you some little um, bottles and fill it up with whatever you want for your drinks. Makes me look cute and extra, and it'll make the kids or whoever you're with, you know, it could be like your mom and who's you know visiting. Well, let's go in the backyard and have a picnic. And let, unless you have a table, then you can eat on the table and have the same type of spread. But it's fun. It's springtime. I think people should be doing more, um, living life more, and you don't have to have a lot of money to do so. Um, and if you occupy yourself and, you know, continuously um, upgrade your environment, yourself, and things like that, um, you're not going to be really distracted by all the things, quote unquote, you don't have yet or um, you find difficult to have because you're too busy enjoying your life now. And also put some more positive spin and uh, frequency on what it is you're trying to manifest and attain anyway so so say live your life now be happy um level up at the level that you're at what you can afford and don't feel like um you know you can't afford to do something because you always can you can always afford to enjoy your life and even if you can't afford to go to the dollar tree you can shop in your own home go around move some stuff around reuse or repurpose things um instead of buying planter you can use old mugs instead of you know going out to buy these candle holders you can use jars from your food and paint them or uh, whatever so you can do all kind of things at whatever level that you're at but um it will teach you as well how to create and make it to your next level of life which is like you know improving getting more making sure that you are uh having yeah i'm in here are you leaving Making sure that you're having whatever type of day that you want to have. So, mm -hmm. That is always an added bonus. And, you know, these are so pretty. 
I'm going to do something with this one right now. I'm bored. Okay, would well, y'all have any questions? Where can you get a picnic basket? At the thrift store? Or online? You know, Amazon got everything. <laughs> I found mine at the thrift store. Because I'm not paying $50 for no basket. <laughs> you see how cute that looks already? Look, I'm not paying $50 for no basket. Y'all can have that. I got mine for like five dollars and it's really nice it's, if you saw my latest vlog it's really nice and it has like the little pockets and little secure button things in it five dollars so um i don't like paying overpaying for stuff unless i'm splurging for something that i really like but i already know that I'm not going to spend fifty dollars on a picnic basket. I don't go on enough picnics to be splurging on a basket, baby. I mean, I could put it on my wish list and somebody could get it for me. But if I see a nice picnic basket in the Dollar Tree, I'm grabbing it. I mean, at the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, I'm grabbing it. You see, it's cute. Um. And I will not be ashamed of it. You said you wish Dollar Tree had picnic baskets? They might. They might level up soon. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. So this is kind of cute. Um, and I'm probably going to paint the top gold or something like that or pink. And then when you put whatever liquid it is in there, and also like if you don't like if you don't want to paint the outside of this jar, you can get that paint and just pour it in the top and let it drip all down the thing, so it paints the inside of your jar and it looks like it's already that color. So and they have that pink acrylic paint at the Dollar Tree. You just squirt it in there and just let it drip all through. You shake it, hold it up shake it if it's just for decor i wouldn't use the paint inside unless it's just like you know to add some bubble bath or something but um that's just for decor if, if you're going to use the inside of the bottle paint the outside or you can leave it clear i'm probably going to leave this one clear and just put some cute stuff in it with some rose petals and lavender and things like that so the floral and the petals and the herbs and stuff would probably be the decor on the inside. So, yeah. And if you don't have liquor jars, use mason jars or whatever food jars y'all have or whatnot. Okay. Um, you say I'm hoarding. To fulfill emptiness no i i live a life of abundance and and some some people like to be surrounded by the things that they enjoy and some people live a minimalistic life i stay at home a lot so i enjoy my home and i enjoy the things i like gardening i like crafting and i like um decorating so that is what i like to do so i mean what some people may think is hoarding um, because, you know, whatever, maybe they don't stay home a lot. Maybe they're not home all the time. Maybe they don't enjoy their home on the same level that I do. So I'm home, um, 90% of the time. And so this is where my comfort is. And this is where I like to, you know, make stuff, um, look nice and enjoy. Now, when I was younger, I did not care about no decorating. I was out and about drinking in the club, you know. But, you know, once you get older, leveling up means a lot more than just a wig and some makeup. It also means leveling up your home, your lifestyle, your ambiance, and how you spend and how much you have in your bank. And da, 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 da. so that's also what it means. Make sure to keep that in mind. Some people know that um, a lot of people. You said, but that is hoarding. Well, then I'm a hoarder, baby. And I take a bunch of stuff and I drive it off at Goodwill so that I'm a recycling hoarder. I recycle my stuff. I get new stuff. 
Mm-hmm. And if I'm a hoarder, then I'm a hoarder, baby. I can afford to be one. Even if it's at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but anyway, if hoarding makes me happy, then let me hoard, baby. Not hurting you. You ain't got to do that. I ain't, I ain't finna move no time soon. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Do I like the flea market? I haven't been to the flea market in decades. I don't live on the side of the town where the flea market is, but I don't have to travel and get to the flea market. They have antique shops and things like that. But I don't live by no flea market to me. Um or a swap meet, or any of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. What is James Moon sign? Booty. Is it that everybody's moon sign? It's a full moon tonight? I don't know. I'm not into astrology that way. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Said it's amazing how people speak on things that they never looked at. Well, you know, there's there's people that are triggered by, you know, having things, but I enjoy my things. You know, so it's not really hoarding to me. I use all this stuff. Um. <laughs> Do I have a weekly Amazon order? I don't know. Not really. I only order stuff when I need it. Um. So no, I get up and go to the store if I have to. Okay. <laughs> you like to create positive surroundings. Me too. Like I like to table skate and I like to switch out my table on uh, cloths and cl- uh, dishes and stuff like that. So I have different dishes and different things like that. And I like to craft, so I have different crafting uh, items. Um, and I stay busy because. That's what I enjoy doing. I don't have to go work a nine to five. I don't have to report to nobody. I'm not on any type of deadline. Um, so I have a lot of free time, and this is what I choose to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to share it with you guys so that if you were looking for some things to fill your time with or craft with, I know a lot of y'all got. Got y'all money and y'all paper mouth and getting them sugar daddies and don't have to clock in no more. You know, I might be looking for how to upgrade your apartment or your home or your garden or whatever. Or do something with y'all's kids. So I'd like to share. Mm-hmm. You say a trigger just a perfect word. <laughs> it is. Oh my. Oh, and um. Have you seen everything everywhere all at once? Yeah, when I cross my eyes, baby, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there you go. The hobbies are very important. Otherwise, you'll just be a blah, boring person with no creativity or personality. You know, this is why a lot of people ask, what do I talk about? What do I do? Like, how do I get this person's attention? Be yourself. Be yourself. Have something going on for yourself. Have something to do. Have something that you're passionate about. So you're not always worried about, you know, other stuff that makes you look like a pig Um, Busy your time. That way, if someone does a call or make a date with you, you got something else to do, baby. Um, and you're constantly improving yourself, your home or whatnot. If you ever should have visitors or whatnot and they come to your house, they'll see how well kept you are, how well you keep your home and how you beautify it. And they know they can't come with nothing less. Okay. So make sure you're constantly reminding yourself that you can level up in more than one area. Now for the young girls, yes, your your focus is not going to be where um, my focus is. But once you get to a certain level, you will definitely want to upgrade and level up your environment. Definitely. Here go that paint I was telling y'all about. 
Um, yes, self investment for sure. And while I do all this, I'm also writing. So I'm I multitask a lot. I have books. I have makeup line. I have my elixirs. By the way, if y'all want to get some of these elixirs, y'all know I get all this energy ideas. You know, y'all keep asking me my secret. There it goes. Start with phase one. It's to my Etsy store where you can get my elixirs. So a lot of people don't have the energy or the, you know, the passion behind doing a lot of the stuff that they want to do. And sometimes you just need that little extra push, which is what the elixirs do. You know, uh, I started taking them a couple of years ago and I started lots. Of, I started like three businesses. I wrote about four books and um, just really flourished as a person um, after those, you know, going through those elixirs. So it may help someone get to that next level quicker and with more passion and energy. So I definitely suggest those. Occur. And I'll put a coupon code in there to about to say 10%. Oh, it's all cash. Do yeah. that when you order your elixirs and you'll save money. Cause... Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said freedom is war. It's so underrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my little Jolly Tree haul and little chit chat. If y'all were on the Patreon, I did my girls night beauty care, self care um, live video. It's on the Patreon if you missed it. Um, we did facial masks. I did my skincare and I painted my nails clear. I was going to paint them a color, but I was afraid to mess up on live because I wasn't you know, focused <laughs> since I was alive. But plus I've been in the garden a lot, so I don't really want them to be chipped off. So I just did them in a pretty clear color. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So advice for a recent breakup, you feel you won't get a great provider again. Then you won't, if that's what you feel. Just like if you lose a job, you feel like you'll never get a good job again, then you won't. Feel like you will, and you will. How you doing? Feel like you want to be. Y'all know that. I don't go by what might be. I go by how I want to be. Stay thinking the way you want to live. That's why I, I, I keep telling you guys, live on purpose. Live the way you choose, not the way you feel because of your low self-esteem. Find a way to boost your self-esteem and have the life you choose each day. Mm -hmm. So stay positive. There's always somebody out there with cataracts and a good old social security check that can provide for you, baby. Don't never say never. <laughs> All right. Anything is possible, darling. <laughs> you were relieved when you was free from your jobs. All right. Mm -hmm. One, once you are free from your working from other people and able to get your own money or get it from someone else and then get your own money. You will never going back, I promise you. You will find a way. <laughs> I promise you. Most entrepreneurs or business owners never go back. They always keep going forward because they can't imagine it any other way. And since they can't imagine it or they don't even think about it, they it's not even an option anymore. They just keep going until they are successful, and that's what you have to do. You know, people give up too easily. They have low self-esteem about themselves and their own um, abilities, 
And that's the first thing people see when they meet you. Your self-defeat. How you feel about yourself. They can sense that. And so that's how they're going to start to feel about you. But if you are confident, if you know you can do whatever it is that you put your mind to, um, they feel that too. And they have more faith in you and they want to trust you more and they may, you know, support you in whatever you're, you're trying to do. So do not feel defeated before you even start anything. Feel like you already won. That's what I do. <laughs> do I have workout technique? Um, yeah, walk around the park. Mm -hmm. I'm old. I don't need to work out no more. I'm old, married with kids. I walk around the park in the store. That's my workout, baby. For y'all youngsters, when I was young, I didn't really work out. I just watched what I ate and counted my calories. So I was too busy to work out. I had school, job, um, boyfriends. <laughs> I was working out in between, baby, doing other stuff. <laughs> um, but I know that some people, it's important to them to work out. So, you know, definitely ask someone who is on a workout regimen because I can't give you that advice. I do some sit-ups and some push-ups and walk around. That's all I can tell you. Going to get on a treadmill. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. You said I never look. Paris says she don't look back. She look forward. Good. What's, what you need to look back for? To say hey, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> What's your name? Um right. You said the stairmaster is will get you together if you can handle it. Mm-hmm. Well, when I'm old, I want my knees to work without arthritis. I think about stuff like that because y'all know I'm married to somebody older. And all that stress, all that working out, all them joint bending, pressurized type of things are not helpful when you get a little bit older. So I think just walking around Staying healthy, you know, my goal is not to have a perfect body. I could care less. My goal is to be happy and to have the things I want in my life. And I got most of that already. So maybe if it were a requirement to get there, I'll probably still find another way. <laughs> I know some people just like to work out because they like, but some people don't. Mm-hmm. How can you be more proactive at dating? You walk to nice places looking cute, but only get compliments, but no date offers. Well, you got to have a personality. People usually want to see more of someone who is interesting. This is why you must have things that you are interested in, hobbies, ways to spend your time, other things to talk about than jobs and, you know, whatever. Um, because a lot of times men are looking for, like, someone to exchange with um, in a conversation or um, talk about something besides work. And they want you to actually be able to hold a decent conversation without being bored to death. So you got to have some type of personality, which means you have to have your own life. Um and, you know, I'm not sure if whatever you're wearing out and about is something that they're attracted to, what time of day you're going, and what type of places you're going to have a lot to do with it. Mm hmm. <laughs> you said you already married. You take that advice after you hit your own work. True, true. I mean, 
y'all know I already met. Um, oh, well, I met James at 22, so I was, I was probably my best looking at that time anyway. So, um, I was, I, I didn't work out. You know, I was busy working to be working out. Too busy working and partying. I was my workout. Mm -hmm. So I never really had to face that issue. You know. Got mine early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like shortcuts, if y'all don't know. That's the Pisces in me. We find the easiest, laziest way to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish and get our money. <laughs> so, went to your first date with the older wealthy guy and he offered to, he offered your credit card. And debit card and says he will buy you a car already you're 24 he's 59 i was shocked thank you oh goodness gracious well make sure you go to that car dealership <laughs> make sure the car in your name though don't be stupid you could co-sign on it but make sure that car have the title or the loan with your name not his that's where a lot of girls get messed up. They're like, oh, you think it's going to buy me a car, but you won't put it in my name. Well, then it ain't your car, baby. Mm -hmm. Then make sure it's in your name. And in order to do that, you have to have, they're going to have to look up, you know, how much money you make. You got to have some type of income. Or he's going to need to make them direct deposits. So it looks like you got some money coming in. Or you need to prepare now and get some direct deposits and whatnot and have a savings. So that you can get your name on the title. Think smart. Work smarter, not harder. That we ain't going to the dealership unless all that stuff is in order first. Because otherwise, if you, if you, you say you're going to buy me a car. Okay, well, I'm going to need the money to pay for it every month. Which means I need automatic deposits. I'm going to need some savings just in case. Uh, and then I'm also need you to co-sign on that just in case. And that's going to be that. Unless I can afford it on my own, then I don't need your full time. Just give me that down payment and make them monthly payments. Okay. Then you need to have a, that savings account looking good, which means you need that automatic deposit going from him. Months in advance. You need three months of car note in there before you even accept his offer, just in case he do break up. That way you have time to get yourself together. Mm-hmm. You gotta think of these things in advance. Take care of yourself first. And they'll do it for you because it first they'll be flattered at how smart you are, and then they'll know that you're not to be played with. <laughs> mm-hmm. They say you ain't to be played with. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me now? Mm -hmm. All right. You said the volume is flat. Well, I'm sorry. Improve your speakers. <laughs> mm hmm. Get you some good old earbuds. <laughs> Like, I can help y'all speakers. Okay. Any tips on how to get more? Let me turn the volume up. Maybe y'all need to yeah, put the volume up for the, those deaf people back there. <laughs> Any tips on how to get more tips as a waitress? A psychological trick? Compliments, baby. That always works. Compliment the woman first because she will make the man give you a good tip. Don't flirt with the man unless he's alone. If he's with a woman, 
you pay attention, all the attention to the woman, give her compliments, ask her where she got, you know, whatever you like from, like, oh, that's so pretty, I really like that. She's going to make sure he leave you a good old tip. But if it's just a guy, compliment him uh, on something that has nothing to do with his looks or his money or the money you think he has. So. You look like you're in a good mood today. That means you're going to feel good today. What's some example of good hobbies to besides the gym? Reading, writing, you don't have other hobbies. I don't have friends. Can't stand being with too many people. The point of a hobby is whatever you're interested in. Hobbies can change. People can learn different things at different times. Whatever they feel like doing, that's what they can do. You can take an art class. You can take, you know, music lessons or something. You can paint ceramics i don't know like whatever you want to do you can craft things you can learn how to knit or make jewelry or something just whatever it is you're attracted to you need to find some inspiration what am i focusing on lately whatever i want that's the beauty of not having to do anything that makes you feel like you have a deadline you can do whatever you want um, how does having a hobby develop your personality? If you have to ask everyone instructions on how to present yourself as a human being, you don't have your own personality. If it's not naturally flowing out of you because you are passionate about something, because you actually have a life to talk about, and because those hobbies or those interests that you have also help develop who you are as a person. If you don't have any of that, then you're. how could you ever know? This is why more people need to be doing more in life than scrolling on social media. You know, because you can't really sit there and talk about anything if all you do is this. This has nothing on someone who is a well-developed person and skills and talent. Um, or whatever. So whatever that is, it, it could it could be decorating, it could be crafting, it could be playing music, it could be painting, it could be drawing, it could be hairstyle, it could be doing your makeup, it could be you know floral arranging, it could be whatever, whatever gardening, you know, whatever. Um, but it will develop you in a much more interesting way than scrolling on social media all day. Okay. Whatever you used to love to do before social media came out, revisit that and see if you still love it. Mm -hmm. Revisit what you used to like to do. And I'm sure if you really liked it, the passion will return. That's what I did. And I'm still good at what I used to do. I'm getting better every day. <laughs> you said start an Etsy store. It's easy. All you need is a bank account <laughs> and a a way to upload pictures and type. Pretty much it. On a printer. <laughs> so I mean, Making lip gloss to sell on Shopify a hobby. If you like doing it, it is. If whatever you like doing, that's your hobby, darling. <laughs> um, back in the old days, they would call it apothecary. Apothecary. You're mixing uh, formulas for, you know, cosmetics. There you go. Maybe you could expand upon how you create your lip glosses, like 
and it putting new scents or flavors in there and adding some gold in there, like some gold leaf or something or some plumping stuff. And maybe you can like do some extras, you know. Get creative with it. Maybe you can, you know, design some stickers and labels and stuff like that. Get artistic with it. You know, come up with a cool name for it or um, whatever. Mm hmm. You say you ain't got no experience. Well, hopefully you're, I don't know how old you are, but if you're a grown woman, you need to go get some experience. That's the only way you're going to get it, baby. Just get you a little shot and go for it. <laughs> you know how they push you in the pool you can learn how to swim? <laughs> Hurry up. Like, you know what to do. That's my that's my opinion. Like, what, what am I supposed to tell you? Just go get, just go do it. Stop being scared. Go get it done. At least kissing it. At least go kiss somebody. I don't care. It's easy to do. What do you think about body count? I don't. I could care less about a body count. I'm, do I go around asking how many uh, women that men slip with? No. Why? Because I don't care. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, what is your body count, sir? This is how shallow I am with nothing to talk about. I am only interested in how many uh, women you have penetrated. Nothing else about you is important but that. What does that tell you about me? What am I focused on right now? What is my goal? You know, anybody who asks that, you got to ask, you got to, you gotta ask yourself, what is their goal? <laughs> is it not paying your bills? Then you don't need to answer that question. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's not none of your business. The same as your mother's body count, darling. That would be your answer. That's cool. <laughs> It is so weird to ask that. That's how you know that their mind is nowhere near where yours is. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, I'm not afraid to offend anyone. And that if they ask me a stupid question, they can get a stupid answer. <laughs> how to understand if a man got money or a thirsty man without wasting much time? Hmm. <laughs> Start mentioning your standards and see if they get put off easily and see if they provide action more than they provide words. They need to prove themselves. Talk is cheap, baby. Um, the more action that they do, the more you know. <laughs> you said no matter how old they are, say three. They know if when you say three, you lie anyway. It doesn't matter for when people ask about your body count. Just say three and they'll know you lying and they'll leave you alone. <sighs> oh, the, the magic number three, yeah. They want to know if they got to impress you or not. Um, you said you're, then don't tell them you're not in it. Then don't tell people you're not in it. I don't know what to tell you, girl. Just go get experience then. You know, find somebody you don't really care about and go get experience if you're so worried about that. I could care less. You're a woman. They don't care. Y'all need to realize. You said she's only 19. Well, you, well, that's normal. But like most, well, I mean, most people I know lost their virginity way before then but honestly just go do something about it if you if you sick and tired of it make it a um, priority go do something about it mm -hmm. just don't catch no feelings if 
you know they ain't gonna be the one, baby. Um. You ain't got to do nothing but lay down, baby. That's all. You don't need no experience. <laughs> lay down. They'll do all the work, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm serious. That's all. I'm serious. You just lay down and let them do all the work and you'll be done. That's all you got to do. <laughs> okay, it ain't that hard. You answer for this body count that I prefer not to talk about my personal information. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so nice and sweet because you know I would have been saying something crazy. Um. I'll be like, I'll have a different answer every time. Something that would make them, you know, have a shocked look on their face just to get that reaction. <laughs> mm hmm. So I've never killed anyone before. I don't have no buried bodies around here. What have you heard? <laughs> You mean she won't have to perform any tricks or fly from the ceiling fan her first time? That's right. You ain't got to do all that. Baby. After he has spent literally thousands, Shira, you feel like you want to sleep with him? That what positions do you recommend? He's almost 60. Girl, make him work still. Either way. That way, it won't. Be something that he wants to do often. If he got to do all the work, he got to. Okay. This the normal way, baby. He, oh, he ain't used to all that extra. You know, it ain't just the bare minimum will get you by with, with him. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. <laughs> In fact, the less you do, the better. That way he don't think you uh, extra talented for some strange reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never try to show off your best moves to anybody. They, mm -mm. You act like you learned them while you was with them and wanted to try something new. Don't pull out your best moves. Be like, Act all innocent. Don't do nothing extra. Until like third or fourth time, and then like oh, I wanted to try this. I, well, I trust you. I never tried it before. I know. But don't be doing no extra on the first time. That's a bad sign. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> yes, I already did my Dollar Tree haul. Y'all can go back and rewind and look at it. All right, y'all. I gotta go. Should you go out with friends who always want to sniff a line of girl? I don't have no friends, and if I did, it wouldn't be no drug addicts that I I wouldn't I, I couldn't know about it because I wouldn't hang out with them no more. I'm too classy for that. Mm. So yeah, I better yeah, I better do that somewhere else, out of my presence. No, you can't ride with me either. Find your own way. Sorry. Yeah, I'm naturally high on life. I'm on my elixirs, baby. I don't need all that. Now, I feel good about myself already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bad news. I'm not. I'm not bothered with people like that. Like. Mm -mm. No offense to anyone who does that, but I'm very selective of the people that I hang around. So. It's just we don't we're not gonna have a lot in common. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all have a good weekend too. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Don't forget to join the Patreon. Um, and also, uh, if y'all are interested in getting the elixirs and starting on phase one, I think it goes up to 11 or 12 phases, but they will definitely get you um, on your level up path and with more passion and um, energy and things like that. So make sure you follow the instruction that comes with it. Um, and also, uh, like, leave a good review. Uh, I have a section where you can read all the reviews before you order, if that's what you want to do. And you can see how a lot of people have benefited from it. Okay. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.